dun dun dun. And now for another episode of Shed Wars from the Arkansas Woodcutter. When we left the Arkansas Woodcutter last, he had received Excalibur from the hands of the White North Forge and Prairie Life from the Lady of the Compost. Let's see what he'll get into now. I've noticed there are many people that have decided to join the Shed Wars. I wonder if we have enough food production. I think we need to add some plants to the land. Here on the Arkansas Woodcutter Homestead, many more produce must be made available. Hmm, what shall we do? Total world domination. Ah, it's time to travel across the lands of the Arkansas Woodcutter and look where did I leave my bull? You know that I have put a ring in the nose of the bull. And I will travel through my land riding my bull. Ah, oh, this bull rides better than a rusty tin can. Speaking of, the tin can gardener thinks that he will devote his time to tomatoes only. What he doesn't know is that tomatoes alone will not win this challenge because his tomatoes will simply die as the heat of the Florida sun comes. No fears. Whoa, bull, whoa! Such a little bull, easily tamed. Hmm. I have these monster tomato plants that will compete with South Paul Davies Sputomatic. Horty Hughes tomato in a bottle and whatever North Shore Organics manages to put together they don't stand a chance against the purple garden of darkness. Black Crim tomatoes, black tomatillos, black basil. This black garden of black soil will certainly overcome any shed war challenge that is presented. With the increased pollination provided by the natural resources at the fingertips of Team Woodcutter, like Crazed Family Homestead, like Homestead Aquarius last no chance, but due to his natural guarding methods, we have used Mother Nature and her pollinators to bring many bees into the land. It's only a matter of time before these great blossoms bring the power of Mother Nature to our land to increase much harvest. As you can see, we have pollinators galore attacking this tree at the moment. It will produce much produce for the land. Look, even the ground itself provides pollination and brings in the many collectors of pollen, which by the way, there are many on the team, which will provide the pollinators much pollen. Oh, bull, bull, wait, where are you going? The bull is not tamed as much. I must get some lemon juice and razor blades and teach the bull a lesson. The Arkansas woodcutter loves big melons, so we have planted many. In this paradise for melons, you can see the many varieties, the saccada, the cream melons. We will outgrow Little farmer's farm and his melon patch with this. More melons, cantaloupes, Yamato sweet creams. All of these melons will produce a great harvest for Team Woodcutter. 
But the woodcutter had overestimated the value of his property and was about to receive some bad news. What is that? My messenger ducks are telling me that the tin can gardener has begun a clone army. You see, even my ducks report from the wilds of nature that the tin can gardener has begun a clone army of tomatoes. Let me listen. Yes, yes, yes. I understand. Many members are beginning to as amass upon Team Over the Pond and Team Will It Grow. They think that they will strike down the rooster and his gardens. They think they will strike down Patriot Farm and Jules Gardening. Roland North of Seven believes that his poison ivy growth factory will do much yet. Chris Dixon of the White North Forge has provided a great tool for this, this battle. We are not evil, nor will we participate. We win the cuteness factor. If you don't believe that, look at Crazy Family Homestead or look at Simple Living with Karen. Rock me like a hurricane. Ah, I have got my bull. Let me ride my bull to the shed. So the Arkansas woodcutter proceeded to the shed, where he had yet another trick up his sleeve to show the land that tomato production alone could be increased. Look, there. These will help me defend against the clone army of the tin can gardener. I will take these and support my tomatoes. So therefore, the massive black crims of the dark portal garden will grow. I'm trapped. How will I ever get out of this? Luckily for me, there were many great teammates that come and helped me to get out of the mess that I was in. Now we will use these tomato cages to support the black crim tomatoes that we have planted here. Hey y'all, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Shed Wars. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, we'll change things up and we'll do uh, some team names. I know we're just kind of getting started. And at some point after, um, after the end of May, I will do a complete team call out for each team. So pay attention for that. My Shed Wars video will drop on Saturdays. Those of you that are participating in the Shed Wars, let's make our Saturdays epic. Bring the heat. Let's have fun. Let's be goofy. Let's enjoy life with each other this summer as we participate in the Shed Wars. If you're new to the channel or you're just finding Shed Wars for the first time, there's playlists on my, on my channel homepage that have each team's Shed Wars videos. Go in there and find some of the other participants in Shed Wars. It's growing. Um, many great people are beginning to get involved in the Shed Wars. Only two videos a month are required for the Shed Wars, but I suspect there'll be more than that that are produced. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe, thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't like the video. And once again, love you guys. Be blessed.